Alice Cooper. Bob Topham. Tatiana. Spencer. Sophie Lloyd. Sebastian Bach. Scotty Scotty. Ryan Rabbit. This is Rob Flynn. Mike Portnoy. Lisa. Sobre la dosis. 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 It's a great metal podcast. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Jonathan Montenegro. Let's go! You better be listening because I know where you live. All right, Jonathan, how's it going? You all right, mate? Ollie here. Hello. Um, three questions. All right, let's fucking do it. Number one Is there a role you have not played but would like to someday? Um. I mean, to be honest, on stage, I've always just tried to be myself. I mean, like a little bit of a heightened version of myself, a little bit of a more loose version of myself. Try to be more confident than I am in day-to-day -day life. I talk a little more strongly than I would normally, but you've got to, like, it does help to put on, like, a, you know, like a character when you're on stage. It's fucking frightening. So, like... It feels good to almost like feel like you're acting a little bit, but at the same time, I want people to see like the real me and feel my actual energy. And I, I don't like to put on like a show and pretend to be someone else. But you know, I like to I like to I like to look different. I like to you know, I like to try and express myself visually through the music. You know, like Ammo, for instance. Like for me, that whole album was like chaos, love, and like bright energy and vivid and crazy and I kind of wanted to show that through like my aesthetics you know like with makeup and contact lenses and just whatever else like just it's something I didn't do really m that much before and I felt good to express myself in different ways um, I know people thought I was like, back on drugs and shit but like nah it's just nice to express yourself man and I thoroughly Encourage it. Um, okay, so question two. Mm, the first metal record I bought. So it depends what you define as metal. Um, first couple of records were like Linkin Park and stuff like that. The first album that I were like, wow, this is metal, was Kill Switch Engage. Um, guess it's the self titled. The one with like. Um, Alive and just breathing and um, my last serenade and all that shit. And when I remember I put that record on for the first time, I was like, oh my God, this is too heavy. We were going on holiday. I was going to Spain on a bus from England. Uh, it took like 24 hours. So like, and that's, I just bought it just before I got on the bus. And when I first listened to it, I went, this is too heavy for me. I don't like it. It's too crazy. And then I had nothing else to listen to. So I just kept listening to it. By the time I got to Spain, I was fucking in love with it, and I think that's really what got me into, like, got my taste for heavy music, because then after that I was listening to all kinds of different death metal, like Decapitated and Suffocation and, like, just harder shit, Zayo and stuff like that, which I'm thankful for. <laughs> um, and number three, what's my wildest fan story? Um, one that comes to mind was I went on holiday once to... Um, Indonesia and a fan found out like at the house that I was staying at which was just like a rented Airbnb and it was kind of like it was me and my dad and one of my friends went it was actually meant for me and my girlfriend at the time but we broke up and it was like a really fancy place and it had security on the doors and all this stuff and um, a girl turned up and told the security that she was my friend when she wasn't my friend and she turned up with a birthday cake and the security thought that she was my friend so they let her in and this was at like midnight maybe like 1am and um, I was up at the time I was talking to my new girlfriend on webcam and this girl just walks in to my bedroom with a birthday cake I'm in my boxer shorts like half naked and she just starts singing like happy birthday in fucking Indonesian and it was like, I was like, uh, hello? <laughs> it was so awkward because obviously it was a really nice thing to do, but I was like, this is a little bit scarier. Um, so there you go, mate. I hope you're happy with me answers. Um, cheers, Jonathan. Thank you for being a fan. I uh, hope to see you at a show soon. Love you so much. Peace.